Hi, Write Writers. Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be writing two separate introductions on the topic of whether technology makes us more lonely. For one introduction, we're going to be focusing on the idea that yes, technology does in fact make us more lonely. And then we will write a separate introduction where we discuss that no, technology does not make us more lonely. So in the yes um, paragraph I have, uh, or on the yes side, on the left side here of the screen, I'm going to read the paragraph that I had created um, on the topic, and then we're going to, uh, a body paragraph specifically, and then we're going to create an introduction based on the yes position. Now we will begin with the yes position body paragraph. Indeed, technology does make us more lonely. For instance, if we analyzed how much time we spend on our personal devices, we could calculate how often we are alone because this interaction is a one to zero experience. In other words, we are interacting alone with our phone. This interaction is a singular experience. Compa compound all of those singular experiences over time, and we begin to unravel exactly how much time we spend alone. Thus, the more time we spend alone with technology, the more lonely we become. So as we're looking at this paragraph, this body paragraph, one of the things that I notice is I'm talking about how much time we spend on our personal devices, how that interaction is basically a singular experience, and that the more time that we spend on our technology, the more lonely we become. So it's almost as if, you know, yes, the technology is basically creating this sense of loneliness. And so now I want to use that for my introduction. And that's what we're going to work on now, right, writers? So I'm going to take a few minutes here to think about how to begin this essay. I want to, of course, include my topic. And I'm, I usually start with a thesis because, again, that's the last sentence of the introduction. And I want to make sure I reference the topic and that I take a position. And so I would say, therefore, yes, I do believe that technology does make us or makes us more lonely. I'm going to use a historic lens or a historical context here as far as, you know, how it was back in the day. <laughs> so I might say something like, you know, um, prior to frequent use. Or maybe I'll say prior to um, prior to having computers on our phones, People would, would have to find information. And so I'm thinking about, you know, finding information. You'd have to like, you know, go to a library and use the computer or you'd have a computer at home, you know, and, you know, we're interacting with that. And then you would walk away from the device. You know, it was not constantly on your person. So... Um, prior to having computers on our phones, and I think I'm going to go with the we because I use the we in the paragraph. I think I'm going to use research um, and learn information.
from a computer. or a book located in a stationary place. Okay. Prior to having computers on our phones, we would have to research and learn information either from a computer or a book. And maybe I will say, um, however, unlike books, unlike portable books, computers would be located in a stationary place. In other words, Let me go back, right, writers. Prior to having computers on our phones, we would have to research and learn information either from a computer or a book. However, unlike portable books and today's portable phones, computers would be located in a stationary place. In other words, would be located not really liking where that's going, right, writers. However, unlike port portable books and today's portable phones, computers would be located in a stationary place. Um, people or we. We would go to that stationary place. We would go to or travel to that stationary place. To that stationary place. Conduct. So I could say something like, you know, conduct. Um, or complete, um, and complete, we would travel to that stationary place and complete whatever work or task. I think I'll go with task, right, writers? We would travel to that stationary place and complete whatever task was necessary. Then, when finished, we would go about our daily lives. In contrast, today, or contrast that, or contrast, contrast that with today, where we have computers, we have many computers on our person, meaning, you know, on our bodies, on our person, at all times. Thus, when we need access to information, we simply, thus, when we need access to information, we simply grab our devices. Us when we need access 
to information, we simply grab our devices. And I'm, I'm feeling like I'm drifting a little bit, right, riders, and I'm sort of going off topic. And part of that is because I really need to add, I'm realizing that I really need to add something after this sentence. And so I need to elaborate on what going about our daily lives means, which I, I need to imply that it's something that is really not lonely. So in essence, you know, interacting with our family, our friends, you know, and so I feel as if I need to do that because you can almost start to feel yourself and you're, it's your intuition just kind of saying, Hey, you're drifting a little bit, you know, you're going kind of focusing more on something else than the topic. So catch yourself doing that and fix it. Um, when we finished, we would go about our daily lives. Um, such as, you know, um, going out with friends and family or hanging out with friends and family or spending time uh, with family and friends. We would go about our daily lives, such as spending time with family and friends, um, you know, walking our dogs or going out and getting exercise maybe i'll just say you know going to the movies or you know something else again where it's social um spending time with family and friends, uh, walking. And I think I'm going to go with our, with our family and friends, walking our dogs. I may take that out. Um, spending time with our family and friends. Maybe going to the movies or going out to dinner, you know, something to that effect, you know, we're going out for a coffee, you know, whatever that may be. And maybe I'll put that instead going out for a coffee. When we finished or when finished, we would go about our daily lives such as spending time with our family and friends, maybe going to the movies or going out for coffee, for a coffee. Contrast that with today where we have, contrast that with today where we have many computers on our person at all times. Thus, when we need access to information, when we need access to technology, and maybe I'll say that technology, we simply grab our devices. However, in doing so, and I feel like I want to use something different than however, okay, I will use a but here. When we need access to te technology, we simply grab our devices, but in doing so, we immediately, you know, maybe sever instead of cut sever but in doing so we immediately sever ties with the outside world And instead, create 
a singular. Um, so let's see what I have. Compound all of those experiences, singular experiences we have or over time, and we can begin to unravel exactly how much time we spend alone. But in doing so, we have, we, but in doing so, we immediately sever ties with the outside world. and create a singular yet insular experience. And going back just to see um, how much time we spend alone. Thus, when we need access to technology, we simply grab our devices. But in doing so, we immediately, we sever ties. We sever ties with the outside world and create a singular yet insular experience. So I'm trying to think of maybe how to say that this interaction is a one to zero experience. Um, so I might say, and maybe I'll say the word interaction, create a singular yet insular interaction. And maybe I can take the yes out. Okay, right, writers, let's take a look at this paragraph. Um, and, you know, I know that sometimes I, I'm pretty hard on myself and you guys, um, you know, feel free to critique as well. But I have, um, you know, we'll just see how it, how it flows, how it sounds, and, and go from there. Prior to having computers on our phones, we would have to research and learn information either from a computer or a book. However, unlike portable books and today's portable phones, computers would be located in a stationary place. Okay, at this point, I can take out this, you know, portable phones because I'm essentially saying it down below. So I'm going to take that out. Um, and maybe down here, I will say, you know, we simply grab our por portable devices and go back. Now taking it back to the top. Prior to having computers on our phones, we would have to research and learn information either from a computer or a book. However, unlike portable books, computers would be located in a stationary place. We would have to travel to that stationary place, and maybe I'll say world because I have stationary place two times um, to that. And I could say, you know, sort of static world um, to that. I'll just keep it stationary for right now. We would travel to that sta stationary world and complete whatever task was necessary. When finished, we would go about our daily lives, such as spending time with our family and friends, such as spending time with our family and friends, maybe going to the movies or going out for a coffee. Contrast that with today, where we have many computers on our person at all times. Thus, when we need access to technology, we simply grab our portable devices, but in doing so, we sever ties with the outside world and create a singular yet insular interaction. Therefore, I do believe that technology makes us more lonely. 
Okay, it's a little bit iffy at the end, so I really need to fix this part right here. Um, thus, when we need access to technology, contrast that with today, where we have many computers on our person at all times. Thus, when we need access, and maybe I'll say to information, We simply grab, or I'm going to take out the simply. We grab our portable. We grab our portable devices. But in doing so, but in doing so, we sever. We sever ties with the outside world. But in doing so, we instantly sever ties. We instantly sever ties with the outside world. No matter what we are doing, no matter what we are doing, We sever ties with the outside world. It is as if the pause button, it is as if, it is as if we have hit, it is as if we hit pause. Or maybe I'll blame the technology. It is as if maybe I'll say in essence, the technology causes whatever moment we are experiencing to create a singular, to create we are experiencing and replace it with a singular yet insular interaction. Let me look at that again. Right, writers, uh, again, just going from here to here. Thus, when we need access to information, we grab our portable devices. We grab our portable devices. But in doing so, we instantly sever ties with the outside world. In essence, the technology pauses whatever moment we are experiencing and replaces it with a singular yet insular interaction. And replaces it. Now I'm leaning towards the technology, again, just ensuring right riders so what i'm doing here right riders not is i'm ensuring that it's the technology that's making us lonely um and so by by bringing that up in essence the technology pauses whatever moment we are experiencing and it and replaces it with a singular yet insular interaction or i can say with a singular and insular interaction um i make keep the yet for right now, and then I go, therefore, I do believe that technology makes us more lonely. Okay, right, writers, I definitely feel more comfortable with what I have created here. Again, I drifted, caught my drift and came back. You know, now some of you are asking, okay, Cruz, this is great, but if I'm under a timer, um, I'm not going to be able to create this. And I understand um, right now, I'm not putting myself under those extreme time conditions. However, you may have the time um, because I have seen some, especially in the Accuplacer Right Placer, in some states, they have unlimited time or they have even up to 90 minutes to create an essay. So you do have some time to create something, 
you know, rich and beautiful rather than just, you know, let's get it done and turn in the essay. I've set myself up for success as well, because in making a rich introduction, I can then use this introduction to construct a conclusion. And I will model that in the next video, uh, which will be a lot faster than this one. But again, take the time to, you know, pull those readers in and really have them think about, wow, I, I've never really, you know, thought about technology in that way. And so have them walk away with um, a new perspective or a new way of thinking. With that said, right, writers, I hope these videos ensure your success and this video ensures your success. And um, if you have any questions, please uh, make sure you um, send me an email and I'd be more than happy, I'll be more than happy to respond back to you. I really make an effort to respond to emails within 48 hours. And so um, with that said, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you again next Tuesday. Cruise out. Love you guys. Thanks again for subscribing. Take care. Bye-bye.